Hi, welcome. We are going to install Arch Merge 6.4.1 Mate. I'll probably say mate from time to time, so bear with me. I always mean Mate, that's the proper pronunciation, but it's hardwired in my brain. Nothing I can do about that. Notice me specific. So there's a lot of tutorials already online on YouTube how to install Arch Merge ISO. So I know that there is enough resources about that. So once everything is installed, Arch Merged is installed, then it's logged in. Next up is where are you in the world? Meaning you, bet the, you better get the fastest uh, Arch Linux servers near you. So the download goes quicker. Then it still depends on your speed of your internet that you are paying for. So that done, out of the way, let's update. So PKSYUA, why do I do all these strange things? Because they are written in an alias. An alias is a shorter way to do things. Like mirror, it's a long line, I have to type and remember, pseudo reflector and all that. And PKSUA, there is Yaourt. So I tend to forget it, but if you type every day this line, you don't forget it. That's that. So we have the fastest servers and um, we're up to date. The procedure is always the same. We get scripts from the net and we are using these scripts to install mate. Mate. So git clone HTTPS and then we have GitHub with Linus to thank for it to invent GitHub. Uh, or git and we have what we are called arch merge are we linux windows or mac we're linux that's how i remember it so and then we have um, chosen to download and install the arch merged iso so amd and then we choose we choose xfte we choose i3 in this case we're gonna download mate mate <laughs> ct not gonna repeat it all the time this is what we need we need the display manager and a desktop we want sound and bluetooth and maybe you don't want printers maybe you don't want to share anything so samba maybe you want to see other computers so network discovery so it's up to you to decide but if it's the first time just install everything and see what you get and next time you say, okay, Eric, that's nice, but I don't want Atom, I don't want Genie, I don't want Firefox, but I do want Google Chrome and so on and so on. So these scripts, there's a lot of work involved, but you change the scripts, you can edit the scripts. We cannot edit an ISO. We can give you an ISO with Arch Merge mates, but it's uneditable. You can't change it. You can't do anything with it. In this case, we're building it up yourself. You have a base installation, an arch merged installation, and then you build it up. Whatever you want, whatever you need, you just uh, put it in there in the script and say run, like I just did right now. That's one of the advantages of using arch merge. So arrow up, quite interesting to know. That's the last thing I did. And then ls. We have 110 as next one as sound. Another 20 Bluetooth. We're filming everything in VirtualBox. Bluetooth will not work in VirtualBox. You need to do it on your bare metal installation. May I suggest you use SSD because that's really a great improvement. So this is a specific thing. This is Samba. Samba is sharing things over the net, meaning I have this music folder and I want to share it with my friends and it's in the same network at home, of course, or with my brother or something. And then we have to tell, okay, what's your login? It will be used to add this user to SFB. So I am Eric and my new password and you just type a password and they'll have to share it with your brother. Say, okay, that's my password. You can get onto my computer and navigate from Windows Mac to Arch Merge and then share a folder. That's something you should do. 
you should check out um, the tutorials that I still have to make, I think. Uh, well, I'll make, surely I'll make something about Samba, but it's not uh, one of the easiest subjects. The only thing you have to do is in etc slash samba dot config, so cnf, there is already a specific Arch Merge configuration there. The only thing you have to do is to go all the way down to the shared uh, folder to get rid of these uh, um, semicolons and make an extra folder called shared in your home folder. That's that. And then you can share folders, you can share things in this shared folder. So not that difficult, but um, we'll have to make tutorials about it. This is a specific long uh, application. This is an application that uh, is a GUI for Samba. And I've included it, but it takes a while to build it. So that's an, a feasible way to share your folders. So less was that one. Uh, sorry, uh, 150 is the next one. So you just go up from smaller numbers to larger numbers, and that's it. It's a fast one. And here we are already with the Arch Linux repo. So there are different kind of repos. You see them pop up, community extra, these names in front of it. And they're all the standard, what I call the standard Arch repos. And there is an AUR, that's something else. And that's why these scripts are called like that. Because um, AUR is Arch user repository. So it's a person, a user that makes uh, a kind of recipe, which we call a package build. And then you install Dropbox, Insync, Spotify. Those are examples coming from uh, the AUR. An hour ago I was uh, making a tutorial about Google Chrome. So that's AUR as well. We have Chromium as browser, but that's in the standard repos. Let's save some time and pause. All right, done. So number 300 is on. So that's why there are three letters there, AUR. This script is probably the most likely to, to crash because of um, that, that uh, applications are coming from the user um, repository. So from time to time, you'll see probably uh, things that do not work. Well, check up and uh, check in this file at the very, very top. Um, I'll navigate to my other files here and let's uh, let me show that that way and let me pause first okay i did a git pull for the last uh, edition from amd mate and i was talking about uh, this one so the aor repo just bear in mind let's open it over here that we have here set minus e so if you use it like so then you say to the scripts look if there is an error somewhere stop hold so if we are started in the middle and um, in the beginning i mean if this thing crashes here the first one crashes nothing will be installed after it so if we do uh, like so so that's maybe the best setting then if the first one decides to crash, then it just continues over the second one, the third one, and so on. It keeps on going, and um, you'll have to notice yourself that something went wrong with one of them. So that's the idea with this line and set minus E. So now it's time again to take a little pause, a break here, and uh, watch. Well, wait, not watch, but wait till everything is installed. Sublime text is up and we're pausing. Well, this last script takes a while, but finally it ends. So there are lots of things maybe you would like to delete or even add. So that's up to you. 400 is done. You will love my D menu later. And then number 500 is going to be installed it's for the comp keys. So if you see yet or uh, this application we're actually compiling or building right now, that's because we need it for our 
system. Ah, it's a very interesting one. Mate tweak. Remember that already? Mate tweak. That's a great tool. Yeah, you need to install it on Mate. Mate, Eric. And then I've installed too many menus. So it's up to you to decide what menu you like. It's still up to me to decide what menu I like. But there are three or was it four menus that are available. You just need to know that they exist and then you can decide for yourself. Hmm, I like that one. I'm going to use this one or next time you say I'm going to try the other one and use that one for a week and so on. So number 600 is the most important one. Well, no, it's not the most important one, but it's the Arch Merch repo. It gets the things we need from the repo itself. And um, that's done already. 700. Oops. Some fonts, if you don't want these fonts, they say not always just fine or anything else. Don't run it. Alice, let's take an overview. Then this auto login. So that's just my choice. I don't want to get a, a pop up asking me, who are you? What's your password? There's nobody around here. We're at home. Nobody is going to touch my computers. So I just want to auto log on or log in. And that's that. He asks my name is going to add me to the auto login group. Done. And last but not least, depending if you are on a SSD or hard disk with this error, only if you have this error, you run it. No need for me to run it. I can save time. We are in a virtual box. That's it. This is phase one. We installed everything in from 100 to 900. There is still the personal folder, but I always do that in the second tutorial, second video. What we now do is see what do we get already when we reboot. So sudo reboot. Boot existing OS. And not of course the ISO, so not the image, but from your hard disk. And this is what we get. And we still have to tweak a lot of things. So, but anyway, we have already a graphical view of what Mate looks like. Icons are old fashioned, but that's up to us to change all the icons, the wallpapers and so on. But we are working. So that's the phase one. We've installed Arch Merged and we have installed Mate. And now it's next. Next stop is our personal folder. And then we start tweaking and theming it. All right.